Hey everyone, this is Steve Kennedy from Dark Art Astronomy, and this is part two of my Marathon de Messier. Let's get started right now. In September 2025, I traveled to Paris, France, and one of the places I wanted to visit was the tomb of French astronomer Charles Messier, the author of the famous Messier Catalogue of Astronomical Objects. I wanted to pay my respects for Charles Messier because he is credited for discovering more than 100 deep space objects including star clusters like M13 and M45, nebula like M45 where new stars are being formed, supernova remnants where a star has exploded such as M1, and many other mysterious deep space objects like the Whirlpool Galaxy. I have imaged many of these. At the time of his work, However, the astronomy community had not discovered that galaxies like the Whirlpool and Andromeda galaxies are separate islands of stars, billions of light years away from our Milky Way galaxy. Yet Charles Messier identified many of these deep space objects with very basic and some might say crude equipment, demonstrating that he was truly a pioneer in the astronomy community. As indicated in part one of my Marathon de Messier video, I did a lot of fun things while in Paris, like walking the Lovelock Bridge and got to enjoy a free guitar concert. We took a cruise on the River Seine, looked at some cool motorcycles on the Champs-Elysees, and I even got engaged at the Café Jules Verne at the top of the Eiffel Tower. I also went to the opulent home of the great artist Claude Monet in Giverny whose opulent garden and beautiful estate is enormous. Monet died rich and famous, and his work is still highly regarded today. I also visited Auvers, which is where Vincent van Gogh spent his final days. There is quite a contrast between Monet and van Gogh because van Gogh died with no money and no fame. He died in a Spartan 8 by 10 foot room in Auvers, apparently by suicide, although that is debatable. Van Gogh died never knowing that his work would later be known as some of the greatest Impressionist art and in the same class as Claude Monet. I then went to the nearby cemetery in Auvers and found the tomb for Vincent van Gogh. His brother Theodore, who is Vincent's greatest champion, is buried next to him. I thought that this could be the same cemetery where I might find the tomb of Charles Messier, but once again, this was a failure. And my trip was rapidly coming to an end. I still had not found the tomb of Charles Messier. With less than two full days remaining, I was starting to think I might never find it. So I hope you will join me in part three of my Marathon de Messier, where I frantically search for the tomb of esteemed French astronomer Charles Messier before I have to fly eight hours back home to Texas. So join me for the conclusion of my Marathon de Messier in part three. At the end.